When you've been through enough in this lifetime Friendly Faces Befriending Service is provided by Pastoral and Spiritual Care within South West Yorkshire Partnership NHS Trust. We provide volunteer support to people who are experiencing mental health issues, either in inpatient ward settings or within community. We provide a two-day training course for all our volunteers, which covers all aspects of the befriending role. And then our volunteers usually state whether they prefer ward setting or community setting, and we then arrange a placement. A couple of years ago, I was very agoraphobic and very depressed and had a lot of anxiety. I got referred to the befriending service on an off chance. I met the person who volunteered uh, to support me, and she was absolutely lovely and she really did change my life. Now, a couple of years later, um, I'm here, being uh, my own volunteer and, uh, and supporting somebody else. What I do on a weekly basis is I meet up with the person who I'm befriending and we meet for like a coffee or a drink somewhere. It's just about making them comfortable because a lot of these people have sort of isolated themselves and have not had the experience out in the world with other people. Now I'm here with you, you've got nothing to hide. I came to do this because I actually am myself a past service user. The befrienders used to come onto the ward when I was on the ward. And I vowed when I was in here that I would come back and help. As a ward volunteer, I go onto the wards once a week for one hour and uh, integrate with the patients. We have fun with music and speaking to each other. I was asked to write a song for the befriending service. I called it I've Got Time For You. The context of it is a befriender speaking to the person that they're working with and helping. Your life shy. These At the moment, there's one regular individual. His mood is very low. My main thing is just to be so positive. The befriending service says it all the title, befriending. I go in as a friend, but if friends are low, you just try and cheer them up, and that's exactly what I try and do. I do a couple of hours, one day a week, and it's based on a ward that's got 12 bedrooms, so I'm not dedicated to one particular person. Just spend time with them, talk to them, we draw. We have a laugh when we do it creative things, we play cards. It's just about doing activities and somebody there to take them away to escape from what they're feeling. And also, it's actually about letting them relate to you because you have trod its shoes and it's surprising how that opens up. I think it's a basic human need that we're surrounded by people that we can trust and a lot of the people we support have never experienced that so to provide somebody with a volunteer gives them the opportunity to experience having somebody who's just there just for them. Just a couple of weeks ago I spent an entire hour talking about a video game because it made them happy and they want to talk about it and I think that's the, the most important part is sometimes people don't have a lot to say and they need to know that that that's okay. There's nothing more rewarding. There's nothing better than seeing people just be happy. When I've dragged myself out of bed and I've gone there, even if I feel emotional myself, you kind of just bury that. But on way back, I'm as high as a kite because they're beautiful people and they give me joy as well. Being a befriender, being a volunteer after being a service user myself makes me feel like I'm giving something back. It makes me feel like I can use my experience as painful as it was for a positive thing.